In today's video, I'm going to go buy this $100 iPhone 12 Pro Max from Wish.com. First off, I just want to show you how of a scam this is and show you how bad this is written. So first off, let's just take a look at our 2020 4 gig 5G, or is this 5, 4G, 5G mobile phone, new fingerprint unlock. Now, let's be honest, guys, your fingerprint will probably end up on some server somewhere. Uh, and including there's no fingerprint reader anywhere on here. Uh, that's going to be fun. 6.7 inches, 10 core, 12 gigabyte. I would assume that's 12 gigabyte RAM and 512 gigabyte storage. 6.7 inch display, face unlock. Your face is also going to end up on some server somewhere. Um, I don't know where this is being manufactured, but I would assume the government there would have your picture. And that's not a really good sign. I mean, for me, though, my picture's all over the internet, so I guess I'm kind of screwed. But eh, you've got an 18 and a 48 megapixel camera. No way in, no way in heck that this is going to be 48 megapixels. Nah, 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 nah. 12 gigabyte of RAM. Also, I highly doubt that. And half a terabyte of RAM, mm, not for $100. Uh, and then you've got a 10 core processor with Android 10. This isn't an iPhone. It doesn't have iOS. What? 18 megapixel camera equipped with AI beauty technology. Yo, that way I can look even better than I do now, guys. Textures and reflective design create immersing feeling and a boundless space. What the, this sounds like someone's tripping on something. That's really what it sounds like. Let's just skip down to the good part. So I'm, I'm not going to waste your time here. If you watched my channel before, you know that I'm a very, uh, I may not seem like it, but I know my computer stuff. And when someone says that they have 14 millimeter transistor process technology, uh, that makes me concerned because, uh, that means that the transistors themselves each is 14 nanometers across. Logically, one would assume that a processor that has 14 nanometer transistor process technology is about that big. Yeah, so a millimeter is a thousand times bigger. Yeah, like a 14 nanometer phone processor chip's about yay big, and you made that about a thousand times bigger. I'm scared what's coming in the mail. The iPhone Max scans your facial features and unlocks instantaneously. Accessing your phone has never been so easy or fun. That means it goes scan off to some server somewhere. Yay. Um, you've got an octa-core. What? I was paying for a, a 10-core. What? Audio recorder, video recorder. Basically, this is a wiretap you're putting in your phone. Is Alexa only the next step up? Lightning input. So I'm sure they got Apple's approval for this one. Due to the difference in light, the actual color of the phone may be slightly different from the screen in the picture. Color names are only used to distinguish between individual SKUs. Please understand that. Thank you. Basically, that means is uh, the light may look a little weird, so your phone may be looking more like an Android phone rather than an iPhone when it comes in the mail. Please don't actually charge back. You've included a smartphone, a charger adapter, headphones, a user manual, a phone case, and protection film. That right there, Apple doesn't include. Actually, they don't even include the headphones or the charger adapter anymore. So these guys are literally doing five things better than Apple does right now. So I, I'm sure I'm going to go through and buy this. Let's see what we got. We got the US plug. We got the black. Let's, let's go through and buy this. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's officially time to take a look at what showed up in the mail. Now, first off, I just want to give credit though. This is hopefully a phone and this is pretty good packaging. Like, I mean, if I ordered an iPhone, I'd expect the packaging to look like this. And uh, it definitely does. It looks pretty dang good. Except this one side literally was like the bubbles popped on it. Yeah, besides that, it looks good. Um, Interestingly, this is, I believe the iPhone and it has Absolutely no labeling on it. Uh, we open it up. Hey, there's a phone in there. Yo, we've made it. We've made it better than a, uh, better than I thought. Um, it uh, well, it's a phone. Um, it's not an iPhone. Uh, definitely not an iPhone. Interestingly, though, looks like it has a screen protector. So, okay. You get a free screen protector though. Um, so does it turn on? Yeah, guys, that's totally what you expect to see when you order an iPhone. Yeah, totally, totally. You uh, order this and, well, it looks like it's a phone. Um, it looks like it's a very low quality Android phone, but it definitely does look like at least it's a, it's a phone. Um, we've got a camera. Oh man. I think the color range is literally three pixels. 
you've got maybe at most three pixels. I'm joking, but like the color range is maybe 8-bit if you're lucky. This looks so washed out. Dude, can you even see anything in this? What the heck? Yeah, you guys get to see my Lego collection back there. Welcome to the YouTube channel, guys. Holy crap. I, I Can you even see... Like, the, the pixelation on this is horrible. What does this record at? Like, 4 FPS? Like, what is this? Oh my gosh. This is the highest it goes? I am blown away at how bad this is. Video mode. Audio mode. Video quality. That was high video quality? Oh boy. It doesn't look like a bad phone, okay? Like, I mean, yeah, it's... It's it's not an iPhone. We've already established that it's clearly not an iPhone. It's a little too, well, thick to be an iPhone. What does the settings tell us? Storage. How much storage do you think it has? I think this said... It says that there's 512 gigabytes available. You can visibly see the pixels. But it, it's definitely, like, noticeable. Like, it is pretty pixelated. I'd say this is probably maybe a 720p screen. You can definitely see the pixels if you get close enough. And, yeah, it is it's very noticeable. Face unlock? Oh, boy. So the other thing I want to point out, too, while we're, we're having this conversation is this clearly is a scam. And it makes me wonder what's going what's happening to my fingerprint when I use this and uh, face ID stuff. Oh boy. This definitely makes me very suspicious right now. I've realized something, something is very suspicious here. Well, it looks like it's a modified kernel version and the email that they put in there is Lee at Lee. Yeah, I12 Pro Max. This just looks like a bad idea all around. Let's put my fingerprint in here so the uh, scammers have my fingerprint. Yo, that's so weird. The fingerprint doesn't read or doesn't work unless you put this this plastic layer back on. What the heck? And I just put it in. Dude, I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to get back into this phone eventually. Yeah, the fingerprint is completely useless. If, the, if we could rate the fingerprint on a 1 to 10 scale, it's garbage. Curious what this baseboard is. Let's see if this baseboard is going to come up with anything. I just want to know when was the last time you saw a phone that had a headphones port on the top? I think it ear cancer. Oh, we didn't take the Geiger counter to this. I hope it's not radioactive. Holy crap. These are some garbage earbuds. Let's see. Let's watch some Jay's Tech Fault, guys. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Is lagging? No way this has the specs it's supposed to. This is one of my best sounding videos by far. Top tier sound, because I've got a new microphone. And this should sound top tier. That are going really, really fast. And I want to see what happens if, um, well, can your computer parts survive the... Um, I don't think I have seen a slideshow that bad in my life on a phone. But holy crap. Let's, let's do a sound recording, guys. Let's see how well this, this sounds. This is a toaster. This is a toaster. Yes, sounds exactly like what I'd expect with a toaster. This is a toaster. Yeah, I... This is a toaster. Yeah, um, pleasantly disappointed. Pleasantly disappointed. Let's just take a couple of pictures, guys. Let's take a couple of pictures. I'm gonna take a couple of selfies. Because, you know, I'm feeling extra great today. And, um, take my pictures and, uh, send them off to some places. Oh, it's wonderful, wonderful. Features a 24 megapixel combination. There's no way in hell that's a me no, nope. It definitely does not have seven nanometer process in there because this main board itself is, according to what I found online, is from early 2014. So this board is as old as my Minecraft server world. So I, uh, it's almost old enough to drive. Uh, well, no, not really, but that was a joke. Screen, you've got a 6.1 inch 2K screen. Uh, I've seen a lot of screens. So my phone itself is actually bigger than this and it has a 1080p screen and I cannot see the pixels on it. Yet this phone is smaller and I can see pixels on it. Supposedly though, it has a 2K screen. Due to the difference in light, the actual color of the phone may be slightly different from the screen and picture. Like the internet browsing is horrendous. How in the world can this, is this waterproof? Please tell me this is waterproof so I can just dunk this. So I've got to now figure out what kind of phone this is. 
Android 10. It's cellular technology, 2G. So this phone does not have 512 gigs worth of stuff on it. You don't have that much space. You have about eight gigabytes worth of space and one gigabyte of RAM. So in conclusion, uh, this is clearly a scam. Like, look at it. Should you buy this? Uh, no, even if it comes with a screen protector, even if it does all those things, it's clearly uh, junk. This was not worth, I wouldn't even pay $25. If I saw this at a yard sale for $5, I might pick it up just out of curiosity, but man, no. Uh -uh. This video was sponsored by me. Uh, well, the sponsor I was supposed to have today uh, sent me the stuff that I need today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, have an absolutely wonderful day.